coming to you today from the shores of the Pacific Ocean in one of the most beautiful spots in the world. And I'm here with Leanne Ralston and Leanne, great to be here. Hey. Thanks for welcoming us. Welcome so much to Pacific Rim National Park. We're standing here in front of the lovely Quisitas Visitor Center, here, right here in the middle of the park. Now, I knew this center, the last time I was here, it was called the Wiccaninish Interpretive Center. So there have been some changes and that's why we're here today. It's undergone a major renovation. So when was the center first opened? The center first opened as an interpretive center in 1984. Mm -hmm. and there was extensive renovations done at that time. And when it opened in 1984, it was actually the most exciting place in the world to come to. It had a submarine, it had the whaling canoe, it had you know, a number of features that people hadn't seen for, in any other place. But now, 27 years later, those things are not as relevant to us as they were at that time. So we've gone, undergone this huge, huge renovation of the, of the center. Well, I'm really excited to see it, so I'm going to go on in and have a look. Thank you very much for, for hosting us here. It was great. Thank you. Enjoy it. Now we're going to go inside and meet the creative mind behind the redesign of the center. We're here with Donald Gunn, the interpretive designer here at the new center. Uh, Donald, can you show us a few of your favorite exhibits? I certainly can. I am, well, the first thing that people are going to see when they come to the center is obviously the reception, which is down below us. And um, what it's doing is, it's uh, as a designer, you're going for a wow factor here. So a very dramatic sculptural um, exhibit to fill a two-story space as you walk into the center. We designed um, a subtitle exhibit here, which is actually a very important part of the park, which visitors do not get to see. We see the intertitle, not the subtitle. This is what goes on below the highest, the lowest tides of the year. And uh, it's incredibly rich. This is some of the richest um, coastal waters in the whole world. Oh, this is fabulous, Donald. It looks like I can just reach my hands right into the water here. What is this exhibit? Well, this is called, um, it's actually a two-part exhibit, and this one's called the Tides in Exhibit. And it's actually referring to um, a part of the park which doesn't get many visitors. It's called Grice Bay, and it's a very big uh, sheltered tidal flat, and it's of tremendous significance to the park because um, of the migratory birds that come to north and south every year through the park. This is what's called um, a staging point for them where they stop a migration and feed. And so these tidal flats get swept twice a day with the incoming tide and this is showing the tide in. Mm -hmm. So what we have is kind of, there's all kinds of things going on in there's here. There's so much to look yeah. at in here. It's so wonderful. there's a great blue heron. Yep. He's called a shiner perch. Yes. And he's wading through the water here, which we've got this water effect. There's a male bufflehead duck swimming past. But when you go under the water, there's all kinds of things. We get down into the mud flat itself, and there's actually a profile cut through here where we're actually seeing the various clams and marine worms that all the birds will come and feed on. So this is the other half of this scenario? That's right. Well, <laughs> this is the Tides Out exhibit. And so the water has now left the mud flats exposed and bare. So for most people going past, they wouldn't give it a second glance. It's a smelly, flat place. But we know there's a lot of marine life in here, and the birds certainly know. So what we're showing here are three different kinds of birds that would commonly be seen in migration on the mud flats. We have a greater yellow legs. Western sandpipers and then a wimbrel. So, and so when you look down through the profile through the mud, you can actually start to see some of the things that they're feeding on. Okay, this looks like a coastal highway. <laughs> it's a beautiful beach, but what's happening here? Yeah, this is well, great. This is actually one of my personal favorite exhibits, if I'm allowed to say that as a designer. But um, this is called Keeping Tracks in Long Beach. And what it's really doing is we're using the tracks on the beach to introduce some of the what they call megafauna, the big animals that live in the park to the visitors who are not likely to see them necessarily. We have wolves and we have bears here, great things, but don't often see them, but they are here. So what we did was we created um, a, it's like a six foot by six foot square mm. patch of Long Beach covered in tracks and um, and then what we do is we interpret those and so what we have here is the tide and dry sand here but there's covered in tracks and um, so we have some black bear tracks here there's some wolf tracks here mm -hmm. footprints 
going up there with a dog, um, somebody <laughs> walking their dog on the beach. And that's important because you see a lot of dog tracks and people go, oh my goodness, it's a wolf. It could be, but not likely to. And when you actually look mm -hmm. at the wolf tracks yeah. and you see the difference in size of the paw prints compared to the domestic dog, you quickly realize a very different animal has made those tracks. Okay, now I'm going to show you a few of my favorites. This exhibit behind me, Salmon in the Trees, is one that we featured in our summer 2011 issue of the magazine. It demonstrates the life cycle of the salmon and shows the interconnectivity of nature. Many of the exhibits here at the, at the center were designed in very close collaboration with the Nutalneth Working Group. I'm going to show you a few more. This is a beautiful depiction of a traditional longhouse with its massive cedar. center it was just the cedar canoe in place now eight whalers have been added adding so much drama to the scene this uh, exhibit is a real focal point showing the uh, the action of an annual whale whale hunt for joining us today at the Quisitus Visitor Center near Euclid. If you want to read more about the redesign of the center, pick up a copy of the summer 2011 issue.